Hello, everyone, and welcome to Salesforce Atlas. Um, in this video, I wanted to share with um, you Salesforce enthusiasts who are every day working in production and sandbox environments how to create a validation rule for for email email addresses and uh, how to avoid um, incorrect email formatting. And there is a quick fix that um, I came across and I enhanced it a little bit as I noticed that there are some subdomains that don't end uh, end only with the .com. They're more complex, and you can actually change Salesforce provided for formula and increase the limit. And uh, I really hope that this quick fix will help you as well. So you don't waste any time and don't lose any precious time. All right. With, um, I'll be sharing my screen uh, with the uh, actually formula fields Salesforce have provided, and there there are three of them, and uh, you can pick any of them, and you can see what works for you the best. I'll be using the the top one. I'll just copy it, and I have also uh, opened up our Salesforce trailheads, Salesforce sandboxes, where just a test environment with the. Uh, with the dummy data, no, it's not a real contact, not the real email addresses. Everything is, um, it's fake here, and just for the data protection reasons, obviously. And uh, you can, where you can use this, this formula is either in contacts or in cases. As I mentioned earlier, if you're using Web2 case, just to validate and ensure that it's the correct formatting uh, for this specific example i'll be just using contacts and we will create i will be testing this formula in here in one of the email email fields and here i have copied the formula and i will create a validation rule here so it has actually redirected me from fields to validation rules and i'll have to name it it will be valid email format. Let's check it as active. And we paste it. Just do it one more time. All right. And we check the syntax and basically, all right, they have to change as well. That would match our environment or what matches your environment. And in my case, it's just email field. So this here, you are using fields. In our case, it's email, uh, emails, API, API name. And this should do the work, no errors found which is good. So basically what this formula does, it checks the formatting, whether the, the first part that is before the at sign, whether it has um, uh, all the symbols, letters, numbers, any other characters, then at sign, and it should also follow. These are the valid, valid uh, letters and numbers and characters. And after, a, then it adds dot and anything that is after that. Um, if it will not meet the, the, the formula, then, um, then the validation rule will fail and, and you will not be able to save either a new contact or create a, a new case based on this email, uh, email provided. And I'll also write the error message. Just an example, please make sure email is correct. Um, all right, let's try it's email format. And it can be anywhere really to the page. And we'll save this and uh, we will test it. And just earlier, I, I uh, most imported uh, fake data just to, to use it later in the future. And uh, as you can see in this example, um, fake data, this email address would be invalid. This is invalid formatting. And now that we have applied, we have actually applied the new rule, 
we can we can test i'm not changing anything i'll check everything i will keep everything as it is but in this case it shouldn't actually let us save this record even though it was already created all right this it is saved Um, as you saw, I added in the beginning not, not rejects, similar to the other two samples. And then the formula, it should, the rule should defire if, if the email address is not based on our provided uh, valid formula, valid values. So if it is not, it should fire, which that's the reason why it was firing. And now if we just save this, this should not save because we haven't included ample sound. And now it should save as normal because we have letters and yes, yes. So the reason why it didn't save previously is because of the, it's rejects. Yes, if you have everything right here, it would fire the first time. And in our case, we want to validate, make sure that if email address provided is not in the correct formatting, that's when we want the rule to fire, which I fixed it, I've changed it. And this is the final version. And another thing is um, where, where the trick is for more complex domains or subdomains, Let's say we have here um, jdavisexpresslt.net dot um, Europe. In this case, it's not saving, and there will be emails with uh, multiple subdomains, and the uh, the very last word can be really lengthy, and and that's exactly why I wanted to create a video. It should be. Um, it's quite simple. You just have to edit the formula and increase the limit. And if we go back to our formula, let's say I can go just back to the Salesforce document. Uh, it will allow that the very, very last bit after at, you can see, um, you can see there is one dot. There can be another one. Um, however, it should be. Uh, in, in the name, there can be, it's like first name, last name, we have the same principle. And at the very, very last domain, our subdomain, um, the maximum characters we have here is four. So anything above four will not save. And in my, in my example, it was uh, Europe. Yeah, in my example of Europe, the word is just too long. And I will simply increase the formula to allow more, um, more letters. Let's go to 25. And now if we save this to, to Europe, it, it should save, should have no issues here. Yeah, and I hope you found it useful. And uh, press the like button, 